respected teachers, my class fellows, and everyone, have a nice day. Good day, good afternoon. I'm Sean from Petrochemical Engineering Department. My major is Petrochemical Engineering from International Department of Petrochemical Studies from Georgia University. And today I'm going to present my thesis report and defense. And the topic is the influence of ultrasound to prove oil diversification. I would like to talk about this. In ultrasound emulsification, first of all, I would like to talk about introduction, then we have experiments and experience, and conclusion. In introduction, we have tagging oil dehydration, main methods, ultrasonic emulsification, and usage of emulsifiers. First of all, I want to talk about tagging oil dehydration. What is emulsification? Demulsification, we know like when we take out the take out the oil, it is in a crude form. It's a crude oil, which we need to do some experiments to separate some kind of diesel, petrol, high diesel, and different kinds of things. And in the crude oil form, we have a mixture of water. Water is present inside. And first of all, we need to use the demulsifier for different kinds of experiments to separate the water from the crude oil, which is the first stage. And that's how we do the egging oil dehydration. There are four kinds of keepers in that egging oil dehydration in which we have egging crude oil, dehydration, demulsifiers with different kinds of ultrasonic process, biological treatments, etc. In the main methods, in the main methods, there are four kinds of different main methods which I already used with the help of my teacher and different students. The first method was a method was ultrasonic treatment with crude oil. The other was biological treatment. Some we use with a centrifugal separation methods. These methods I was using for that. But the main method was ultrasonic emulsification. What is ultrasonic emulsification? The point is that is the most easiest way for the emulsification. Ultrasonic emulsification, we use ultrasonic waves to reduce the density and the velocity of the crude oil. We separate the water and the crude oil because they have different kinds of density, they have different kinds of properties in that. The usage of the emulsifier, usage of the, we have different kinds of reagents just like catalyst. Catalyst which speed up the reaction. It is just like emulsifiers. We use the emulsifier to speed up the reaction which try to help the water and oil separation because there are two kinds of stage in water oil separations. For that thing, we did the experiments. In the experiments, we had different kinds of oil samples, which we were using in laboratory equipment. We had the main three kinds of laboratory equipment, in which we have ultrasonic laboratory equipment, which was TEM 200 ultrasonic ground. That was the first, and the second, I was using HH6 digital constant temperature water bath, which was we were using on the second step. The third step was AT with a grade of two centrifuge water bath. That was the laboratory equipment we were using in the demulsifiers. That is the readings after we get the results with oil dehydration effect of any amount of the demulsifier. As you can see, there is a dehydration ratio with an agent. There are different kinds of demulsifiers we use, and when we use the different kinds of ratios with different agents, you see, without an agent, centrifuge time increasing by the dehydration ratio is going constitute. But when we use the demulsifying agents, we speed up the reaction. You can see in 15 minutes, that's the best time, we are using the crude oil separation oil to demulsify with a higher ratio of dehydration ratio with a without agent and demulsifying agent. You can see the result. In the same time, with a sonic temperature, a sonic temperature, when increase, Ultrasonic temperature, with the increase of ultrasonic temperature, the crude oil and water temperature increase, which reduce the density, which is, uh, reduce the density and viscosity. Viscosity is very important because the crude oil viscosity and the density are totally different. Viscosity of water and viscosity of the crude oil, when it reduces, it makes them separate. You can see without an agent, without an agent and demulsifying agent, the ultrasonic temperature will increase, but without an agent, this is going in the steady same way. But with using an agent, the dehydration ratio is increasing, increasing with time. 
the more we increase the temperature, the more the hydration ratio will increase, which shows that it is inversely proportional directly to the hydration ratio. Same like the next is ultrasonic time. Ultrasonic time, time is very important in that crude oil because mostly when we have a, we don't manage the time, it also already sometimes bumped out. I was doing the experiments in the laboratory and many times it just bumped out. You see the hydration ratio, the hydration ratio with the ultrasonic time. It's also showing the different result, which is increasing, increasing with the increasing of ultrasonic time. Effects of temperature. What's the effect of the temperature? We know water boil at 100 degrees Celsius. It's evaporate. It's same like that. Water and crude oil, they have different kinds of temperature, heating temperature. When we try to heat that, they make a difference and they try to sample the separation of these oil. Then there was my experience. What I learned, what is the emulsification? How we get water oil separation? What is crude oil and water oil separation? As you can see, that is water. I was telling you at 100 degrees Celsius, water boils. But the crude oil, we don't know. If you see oil wet, intermediate wet, and water wet, as we use the emulsification pollen, you can see these are the solid particles and the layer. This one solid film, water droplets are inside, and we need to separate this water from these samples of the crude oil. That's the effects. That's the effects you can see. These are the water droplets in the crude oil. These all you can see. As we increase the temperature, these small bubbles, you can see these small bubbles with the increase of temperature, they come together when we use the electronic centrifugal machine in the 15 minutes, mostly we use 20 minutes, it's separation with the water go down and the crude oil come up and we can do the separation. Conclusion, why I did that research? That is the most important thing. Why I did that research? The importance of research for me was we use centrifugal system, we use biological treatment, we use ultrasound, we use water bath. The most important was the bottle test system. I was doing with in a petrochemical department in my university with my teacher, with along with two students, we did some bottle tests during the crude oil sample. First two days was difficult to bang, but otherwise we understand. In the slowly way, the bottom test system was the best system to understand the crude oil and water separation. How? The question is how? It's a very important. When we use a different emulsifier, when we use a different emulsifier in an ultrasonic system with an appropriate temperature, appropriate and an ultrasonic temperature, there are two kinds of temperature, one the an outside temperature and a sonic temperature. We use a water test, we take the three samples with different oils and everything. And there was different ways of procedure. Now, I was telling different ways of procedure. When we use different ways of procedure, the readings we get, there were the three kinds of readings. Three kinds of readings in which we were using emulsifying agent, 280 mg per liter. That was a perfect crude oil sample, 280 mg per liter. With ultrasonic temperature was 65 degrees Celsius. Ultrasonic temperature was 65 degrees Celsius. Now we have another temperature. In the crude oil bottom test, inside temperature for us 65 degrees Celsius. But the outside temperature, it was 85 degrees Celsius. We use the centrifuge part. <coughs> Guess what? What was the centrifuge separation time? It was 20 minutes. 20 minutes was the perfect time along with 85 degrees Celsius temperature. That's how we get the bottom test system. And I use in the industrial ways, in the industrial way, mostly the, in Nigeria, I've been learning from the different resources, different reference. In Nigeria, in UK, in Europe, the mostly people are using this company just like in China. We have Sinopec, Total these days is going growing up are all using water test system and they use the crude oil for separation. And that's all we have today with different kind of procedures. And the best is ultrasonic emulsification with all oil. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for my emulsification.